Hey everyone, welcome back to Chasing Adventures. And you're wondering why am I packing the car so early in the morning? It's because we're finally going camping. Yes, we're going camping. We're meeting up with a couple of Subaru owners and this is gonna be my first time traveling with a bunch of other Subaru owners and meeting them and camping out with them. So that's why I got up super early in the morning, packed the car, she's all ready to go. So I want you guys hop in and join us for a ride. And if you haven't seen my Subaru build, I'll leave the link in the description, so make sure to check it out after this video. seven of us so let's go so we got an outback cross track forester another cross track and our friend wilderness and the person that's getting up Ice, bag of ice, is another forester. So everybody is airing down their tires as we are going to start the off-road trail right there. So this is a Canadian border line right here, and we are here. So look at how close we are to Canada.
made it to the top. Wow, guys, this is beautiful. And there's another lake on the other side. This is beautiful, man. Oh, this is why we live in Washington. Alright guys, our camp setup is finally all finished. I got the tarp ready. And this is our pop-up tent that we recently got. Bedding area. Underneath this blanket, we have two self-inflating air mattresses. And then I got my trusty Blue Eddy power station. My wife is already just chilling and enjoying the view. And this is my kitchen setup. And here's Pepper. Pepper. Hi, Pepper. Got the fire pit, our table, my chair. And let me enjoy this view. Take a quick walk to the lake. Wow, it's like a private beach. <laughs> wow, look at how clear the water is. Oh my god. This is so nice. Wow, this is picturesque. Pepper. Dinner is homemade beef skewer. Yeah, the skewers are ready. The tri-tip skewer. Oh, so good. Well, now it's nightfall, and we have our lights up. Little tiny Christmas lights. The fire's still going. It is getting a little chillier, though. So I think I'm gonna stay there the whole night before we go to bed. On my toes. Pepper is really warm. There's people that's coming down right now. Wow. They're hiking in the dark. Well, I mean, same for you, though. Dude, I'm surprised you were like, is that? Let's go. Let's go. on your purse or something. I get the guy here. Matter of fact. Hey guys, so we're in the tent, and since the sunset, it's been getting a bit cold, right? So. 
we're gonna go to sleep but I just wanted to share you this thing is a lifesaver this is a hot water hot water pack this is a cheap and efficient way to keep your body warm throughout the night and I keep this right next to my face oh it's hot <laughs> and go to bed I'll catch you guys in the morning Good morning guys. So this place does have a designated campground where they have a soft sandbox and a fire pit right in front of this view. Look at that, that's beautiful. Oh, this place is gorgeous. The sun's coming up, we're gonna have some breakfast. And then there's a mine right there. We just have to hike a little bit into it so I think we're gonna go check that out in the morning after breakfast If you're mad at me, just tell me. <laughs> Don't throw food away. Hey. Morning. Morning. Just wanted to come by and say hi before I left and took off, so. Oh, you're leaving already? Yeah. I have a long drive home and I wanted to do a little bit of shopping while I'm in the big city. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't get over here that often. Okay. So, but yeah, I just wanted to say hi. And oh, it was nice meeting you, man. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Probably uh, several more adventures will yeah, go of course, on. So. Of course. All right, guys. So everything's packed and we always practice leave no trace. So this is how it was when we came here. And as you can see, everybody left. All my Subi buddies and my neighbors, but we are gonna hike to the mine cave. Oh, look at these rocks. 
there's probably sled from all the way out there. Guys, we're at the mine. Oh, a bit sketchy to go in there. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> I think it just ends right there. It's pretty cool. And that's where we camped, right about there. And we saw this black cave from all the way there, so... We got here. Let's go to that ledge. Careful, babe. So clear. We're going to head out and one of the guy told us um, if I drive up 30 more minutes, there's a place called Artist Point. And I've seen them on social media and I do I did want to check it out. But since it's so close by, um, we're just going to go there and drive by and take a look. But I do love this. Oh. Look at that ripple. So, so I came down the mountains and I'm airing up the tires, but I gotta say, I love these tires. Um, I think I was around 20 PSI, so I got the tire pressure low sensor light on, but yeah, it handles so great. And if you look here, there's no stones. I, these stone injectors, they work fantastic and yeah, just, just great. When I had the Yokohamas, um, I had a lot of little rocks that were stuck in stuck on the threads but these they're great 
highly recommend them. And I did make a separate video of these LP Adventures and Baja Boss AT tires. So if you guys haven't seen that, um, I'll leave the link in the description. So make sure to check it out for me. That'd be great. Yeah, we're gonna go to Bagley Lakes Loop. Oh, it feels so good. Love the wind. It's worth it, huh? Mm -hmm. That was beautiful. And we're going to try to go down to the lake. I think there's a little pathway that leads you into the lake. Man, if there's a heaven, I think this is what heaven would look like. This is so mesmerizing. Oh, I could stay here all day. Oh my god. So after that Bogley Lake, we're heading up to Artist Point. There's a lot of people here. And let's see what the fuss is about. So we're walking into Artist Point. And do you think it's gonna be like that time when we went to Grand Canyon? And saw it for the first time, and we were both like, oh my god. Maybe. I know. Maybe? Maybe. You know I, mean? I hope so too. Sure doesn't look like it though. Not yet, at least. I think the lake was much more beautiful. Let's see, that's part of the lookout. So this is beautiful, but it's not like Grand Canyon. Wow, but it's still beautiful. There's still snow up there. So this will conclude my time with fellow Subaru owners and exploring Washington State. Um, although I didn't have any video of us interacting with each other and that's because we were new to the group and I don't want to interrupt their privacy but I just gotta say we really enjoyed our time with them. And that's because we're not only bounded by the car or love for the Subaru but I think it's mostly the nature that calls us together and exploring them together. Um, because we barely talked about the cars, but rather the trips that the car took us to was the main focus. And same case with my newly found neighbors. So um, the more time we spent here in Washington State, um, we're more convinced that we made the right decision to move here because most of the people that live in Washington State is a nature lover and who's down to earth. And another big reason why we moved to Washington is, uh, drum roll please. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Sonia's belly is getting unusually larger. And that's because in a couple of months, um, we're going to be parents. Yes, I'm going to be a father. And I wanted my daughter to grow up in a peaceful nature environment without all the worldly nonsense, you know? Um, sure, she will have to face them when she grows up, but I wanted her core value to be about family and nature. Because at the end of the day, you know, family is all we have. and. The moments that we spend time together in the nature without iPads or phones and you know, electronic gadgets will be more valuable in our upbringing than anything else, I think. Um, anyways, <laughs> I think I ranted enough. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, you all know the drill, right? Like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you guys won't miss my next video. And 
drop a comment down below and to say hi or any other ideas for us to improve our channel for you guys. And I really appreciate every single viewers and a subscriber to our channel. Thank you so much. And if you want to show your support, um, I did create a Patreon page. So every dollar will go to a baby. <laughs> and again, thank you guys. Thank you so much. And until next time, keep chasing adventures and bye for now.